Hey you folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universals 4 as the Netherlands. We continue our ginormous world conquest. We've screwed up New World over here. And uh, we've got... I mean, we're by far the dominant power in the world. And currently we're kicking this knot out of the Ottomans, which were the only people we're vaguely concerned with. Uh, but that's not really any longer the case. Um, what is our uh, What is our tech level? We're military 24. So our military parity. We're about to win this fight. They are going to reinforce. Uh, on the other hand, so are we. We've also gone and moved a few of our vessels around and try to do a more complete blockade. Certainly worried that there might be another big fleet in the Aegean. But uh, I don't think there's going to be anything that can challenge us. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and unpause and see exactly what happens. Uh, the Battle of Somewhere Else. Uh, Mecklenburg. Cancel rights. Things are happening. Uh, Diavet wants access. Sure, why not? We'll let you have access. I don't mind. I'm a nice guy. All right, let's go. Win this fight. They are consistently losing more people, more people, more people. Uh, quality ivory. Free prestige. Never, never a bad thing. Um... Detach, move forward. Moving to the Aegean over here, just to babysit anything that might be there. So we don't have a full blockade. We have 24 heavies, though. Uh, that'll keep these ships nicely pinned in. We don't have to worry about them coming back and killing anything else. Uh, so unless they have something uh, parked in Albania, we should be pretty okay. Uh, we don't really need to de-siege this stuff because it's not really contributing much of an opposing war score. Um, but, you know, why not? Uh, detach. Uh, so there's not a whole lot to be done there. Actually, I'm going to move you to the Aegean. Uh, just, just to reinforce, just to make sure everything is okay. Meanwhile, this battle was joined in by the opponents. Um, right now we still have a morale advantage. Which is good. They are losing more numbers, and we should be doing... Whoops, now we're losing a bit more uh, because of rolls. Would have been nice if they hadn't quite... If they hadn't quite reinforced in time, they would have had a river crossing. They're actually sending quite a few people in there. Um, we might lose that fight. That would be very, very, very disappointing. Uh, we got a damaged colony somewhere? We don't have... There's a colony somewhere that doesn't have a uh, guardian? No, we're fine. Okay. Ooh. Um, I mean, we're still slightly ahead of morale. Although, what's their leader like? 3-5. Three, 3-3. Five, three, three. Yeah, that's why they're getting the uh, the shock bonus. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Okay. No one to worry about over here. That's good. We don't have a full siege, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's all coming apart right now. I'm going to see if I can manually get these guys to retreat to Barca. No, they'll still they'll go somewhere else. Get you to Barca. Where are you running off to? Very, very far away. Which is not what I, at all what I wanted. Um, but let's send some more dudes in over here. Actually, let's collapse back to Cert. Just to try to group them up. Now, it's going to take them a while for the morale to recuperate. Yeah, we're down to just our cannons, and I didn't want to lose them, so... It seemed like a decent idea to try to uh, pull back a little sooner. I mean, we would have broken anyway. We may have broken on our own, but I didn't think so. Oh, it's the full siege of transports. They actually... I'm sure we don't need all the transports there to siege this. But you can't detach a siege with transports for some weird, bizarre reason. I'm going to split that navy in half, move half the transports to the Aegean, which should give us a 100% blockade. Transports are great at blockading, but they're, the button doesn't actually work for them. Uh, don't go to Barca. Stay in cert. Um, give me uh, more manpower, because we're actually burning through quite a bit. We don't actually have that much manpower overall. Do, do, do. Getting all our sieges going on over here, breaking things, doing things. There we go. 100% blockade of the Aegean has just kicked in. We can detach a few, actually, and pull them back to the uh, Gulf of Santalia. That's fine. We could also move up over here, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, any chance if we split this, we'd still have 100%. You know what? I'll leave it be. 
won the Siege of Oren. So you as well. We're going to move you up to the front. And you can move up to the front as well. Okay, we won the Siege of Surt. So actually, go ahead. These guys can all move to Barca. That'll be fine and groovy. We've got a 50% war score. Most importantly, too, is we're waiting for Algiers to be 100% um, um, siege. Ah, 102 war score. That is really annoying. Is there any chance we're about to get another tick of admin efficiency? No, we'd have to get up to 26, so we're too far from that. We already have 23. So we can't fully annex Algiers. That's really frustrating. Um... Oh, I don't know, admin. Because what I would like to do is annex and then release as a vassal. That way I don't have to deal with the coring costs. There's not going to be an option. There's no... Fez. Fez. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if I grab these three provinces, clearly they must have had some Fezzan nationalists or something at some point, I think, uh, that left some Fezzian cores over here. So I'll be able to annex these three provinces and then release Fez as a vassal. And then I don't have to worry about the increased Berber coring cost. Like, you know, annexing and coring uh, by spending admin points versus um, absorbing a vassal with diplo points so you don't really save points normally but with the increased coring cost then it makes a big difference big difference we have an extra no we don't have an extra diplomat so i'm not going to fabricate a claim over there again uh yay conversions very good convert some more i can't believe we have almost all the land that we have is almost entirely catholic that is insane that's not even remotely close to possible. Algiers, I'll get back to you. Jerba. Wait. Oh, right, because Tunisia is our vassal. Yes? Tunisia is our vassal. It's been a while since I played this game, guys. Uh, so I'm forgetting the facts. I'm like, why did we unsiege instead of siege? Silly me. All right, uh, maybe things are good. Gulf of Almeria, we actually don't need you to siege here in any way whatsoever. So why don't you join the siege in the Gulf of Toronto or the blockade? We've got Tripoli. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this group and move you to Libya. Or one. And these guys, are they still running away? No, they, they've stopped running. Wow, you are messed up. Um, I'm not going to consolidate you. Even though maybe I should. I'm going to move you guys up to Libya. Actually, you're all... My god, we got to reinforce the infantry layer. But we're going to group them up with uh, another army and then things will be better. Um, okay, we grab that. So let's move you to Libya. Ceuta, excellent. We're going to move you to Libya as well. We could probably move some more ships again. See, there's a lot of not our land over here, and I'm not sure I appreciate that. <laughs> Paint the whole world orange. I, I, I think that might be a little bit beyond me. I'm just not that fast at the world conquest. I don't know all the tricks to abuse. Use and abuse. Oh, 100% siege over there. Detach a few more ships. Lovely. Throw you into the uh, Gulf of Cyprus, perhaps. Uh, merge you guys up. Everyone to Libya. So it'd still be nice to just out and out destroy the uh, the Ottoman army. Actually, I'll get you to stop in uh, Barca. That way we can merge the armies and then split them in half and get a bit more of a balanced force going on. You don't need to be there anymore. Keep sieging that. We don't literally need a full siege of Algiers probably to get what we need, but we need need uh, Fez itself. Yay, cores. You arrived in the Gulf of Cyprus. Okay, so far from a full siege, but that's okay. 
I'll throw some more ships in there now. And we're just CG one thing. I can probably split these transports in half and then send half of them away. Won the Siege of Fez. Very nice. Advancing you forward. Okay, all these guys. Uh, and we only have the one leader as well. So I'm going to take you and split you in half. Move you forward. And actually, I'll take this group and split it in half too and also move it into Libya for extra defenses. Hopefully it doesn't slow down our um, siege too, too much. Exceptional year has uh, expired. No, we're no longer exceptional. We have a ton more units built up here. Man, it'll be nice when we get that tool in the art of war where we can insta-build things. We should be well below our force limit. And, whoa, that is a wonky screen. Too many different types of mercs. And we are, but the big problem is we don't have the manpower to uh, afford to refill that. In fact, um, I guess, although we sp could spend a bunch of money on mercs, we do have a good number of them already. Um, we don't really need any more mercs. And actually, we can't hire mercenaries down here because it's not uh, Europe. So what are you offering me there? No, I decline. I want more than that. Sorry. A CB to take Gloucester. Oh, there we go. And we've got tons of free diplomats too. So we're going to fabricate more claims. Um, so we've got Gloucester, Gloucestershire. We could grab Oxfordshire. Or Glamorgan. I don't suppose Wales. No, there's no more Welsh cores. So we're going to try to have claims on as much English stuff as possible. Because we'll probably go to war with them again. And then it'll be nice to have uh, no diplo cost. Not to mention reduced coring time. Go and move you to Rashid. If we can get a good presence in this node, it'll be good. Siege of Lagwat. We'll move you forward. And take a new idea. Uh, no, we've got to keep our Diplo points so that we can negotiate peace. Yeah, go to Rashid, definitely. That'll be the way to do it. These are still going. Do we have an idle army? We do have an idle army. Move you forward to Libya. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Uh, Algiers. Listen, can I get these three provinces? You would give me that right away. You'd also give me a little bit more. Um, but, oh, actually, I should take this because this will give me the ability to walk between everything. I will have to core Logwat myself. And that will be a fair number of over ex um, aggressive expansion, although not with anyone that matters. And the overextension is fine. We've got uh, we've got some admin points. Again, it'll be double cost on Lagwat, but that'll be okay. Actually, I might even be able to sell that to Fez. There's a chance. Um, I'm going to call that good enough. It'd be nice to get some money. Oh, could I get you to... Um... No, really? Not enough war score. Okay, well then we'll wait. Because I would like to break your uh, your alliances with the Ottomans. I can afford to wait an extra minute or two. What's the actual war for? Oh, yeah, it was their jihad against me. I have won most battles, so I've got the show superiority bonus, plus 40 war score just from that. Which is nice, because after I piece out... Um, after I piece out Algiers, I should still have a lot of war score up against the, um, the Ottomans. And this is a bit of an issue, where I don't have enough leaders over here. So these guys who are in friendly territory... I'm going to go ahead and assign some leaders to them. And then I'm going to try not to just randomly merge my armies together, therefore messing up which armies or which leaders I have around. This is a in artillery heavy army, but on the bright side is that first round of attack is going to be brutal. Uh, that natives don't matter. Don't bother me about natives. If I've got some troops there, I really could not care less. Belgium! Nice and big. We could declare war on the Hurons just totally randomly. Show superiority. Take them. I, literally, I could declare war on them right now and just let my vassals get to work. However, I'm going to wait because I can't release a vassal if I'm at war, and I'm hoping to probably do that. 
yeah, I will have to peace out against the Ottomans relatively soon, because I'm not going to want to hold on to uncored territory for very long. So yeah, we'll wait. We'll peace out Algiers um, after I'm feeling happier about my situation with the Ottomans over here. Let's keep that for now. Mm-hmm. So we can merge them together. That way these guys will have a leader now. We even have two points of siege, which is nice. Go away, Algiers. Not interested. We're going to split this group in half. Move some to Gaza. And I'll go ahead and detach in half and move some to Cairo. It'll hurt my siege a little bit, but still okay. Yay, sieges. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, if I can get some territory in this trade node, that will be really, really, really helpful. Um, not to mention the land on... Oh, we could build a Suez Canal! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, yeah, let's move forward. Ah, I forgot about that. Uh, there's no um, blockade necessary there anymore. We've got pretty much 100% blockade of all the things. It'd be nice to start trading again. For now, though, I'll just sort of group some things up. On the Siege of Barca. Merge you up. Move you into Judea. Our Sine. Maybe we'll, we'll grab control over the, the core region over here if we can. Ooh, where are you moving into? You're going to attack in Cairo. You move back out of Gaza over here to reinforce in Cairo. So on the... So one more day, the first army will show up. Well, two more days they'll show up, but one more day we make the move. Um, let's throw everything in there. Breaking sieges is going to be fine. Most important to just win the battle. Get everyone in there. We should have a defensive bonus. Okay, the first army is there. Are we just going to win before the rest of them show up? Um, oh, we're fighting in the desert. Oh, it's not hilly and there's no river. Mm, no defensive bonuses. We did weaken one group considerably. There we go. Okay, good start. Uh, I don't, I can't lose 56,000 manpower right now. <laughs> That's more than I have. I mean, you can't go into the negatives, which is good. But it still would be unpleasant. There we go. Now there's, there's a big battle. Um... I want to make sure to not merge too many of my leaders together. So I'm going to grab this big army, move chase to there, and then these guys can go back to uh, besieging Rashad. This one can actually stay in Cairo. It's probably fine. Actually, we'll split you and do something like that. You move into Alexandria. Oh, there's another big stack. Are you going to keep going to Fayum? When do you arrive? On the 26th. Okay, we can work with that. I'll take that engagement. I don't really need this many people, but what the hell? There we go, 25th. He can no longer change his mind. My troops are still going there. We'll reinforce even further. Um, actually, that'll be more than enough to finish this off. So let's split you in half, send half of you to Gaza, the other big stack. We're going to go to Rashid for now. So we did break all our sieges. And we might actually insta-lose this battle, which would be a damn shame. Nope, we reinforced in time. Hooray! Uh, peace offer from Algiers. Go away, Algiers. I gotta break the Ottomans a little bit more. And I certainly have to finish all my sieges up here. That's the new priority. Sieges, sieges. Won the Siege of Constantine. So you can move to the Ottoman front. Maybe go to Kenya. You're good here. Oh, you're just shy of 10 cannons. Although, as soon as you reinforce, then we'll have the 10 cannons. And this will be perfectly fine and healthy, which is nice. So I will simply take this extra infantry. And move you to something like Sinai or... Actually, God, Rashid. We'll uh, group up with this army, get a proper composition. 
Uh, these are all leaders, so let's make sure to not cancel them. Where are you running to? Well, you're going to run through Cairo. That's okay. Let me move one stack over here. And... I don't want to waste too many people in this area, because they probably don't have too many troops, and i got to be ready to reinforce. So I'll move some of them to Sinai. Okay. Uh, oh, call for peace is starting. Damn it. That's a little bit unfortunate. Now, it'll be possible that... Uh, what's my uh, exhaustion right now? Go ahead and spend to reduce it a little bit to give me a little bit more time. It's possible after I peace out with Algiers that that might reset? Probably not, though, because the call for peace, I believe, is mostly based on whether the war goal has been achieved, and the war goal status will not reset until I stop warring with the Ottomans. So we're going to get a little bit of bonus war exhaustion every month, and the speed at which it grows will grow itself. It's going to accelerate. It's a bit rough. Um, I'm going to split the stack in half and grab the one with the leader and uh, send it north. Um, maybe to Sinai for now. It'll be ready to reinforce if this army decides to attack me in Negev or Gaza. Uh, more ships sitting idle for now. We'll have you group up over here. And there. Still got a blockade going on here. And yeah, it'd be nice to get my trade ships going on. Actually, the other thing I check is my naval force limit. Nowhere close to full. How close are we to getting an upgrade on our frigates? Next level. So we could actually get it now. I think that's probably what I was waiting on, so I'm not building any more ships. I will be spending some diplo points, of course, negotiating this piece. Um, and actually got some extra diplomats. Yeah, let's get some more fortification. That'll be fine. Um, extra diplomats... Do we have uh, full claims over there? Yes. What about uh, not in Castile? So let's just make sure we've got a few claims kicking around. And I'll fabricate. Um, yeah, if I take Coimbra, it'll strongly encourage Portugal to move their capital off land. Do we want to do that, though? <laughs> Well, I can, I can fabricate a claim on it, but I think it would be better if I do go to war with them to just take Porto, nibble them down to a small enough size that I might be able to vassalize them next time around. It'll depend on how many overseas holdings they've gotten. Counting sounds hard, so I'm not going to do that. All right, siege all the things. We don't have a... Whoa! Hello. I did not expect another massive stack down there. to reinforce as much stuff as possible actually try to like discourage him from attacking me there we go i'm gonna break this one siege which doesn't have as much progress going on anyway all right we can leave our troops in sanai which is going to be great no one's attacking me anywhere uh oh this is just a big stack of cannons Are we at, um, yeah, we've got more than enough cannons there for the full bonus. So yeah, we'll leave these dudes right over here for a full cannon stack. Plus five to the siege rules, baby. It is based on um, how many, uh, what's the fort level? Based on the fort levels, how many cannons you need for the full siege bonus. We're on the siege of Gaza, so we'll move up to Judea. These guys might be trying something a little bit funny, but I think we can reinforce. Especially if we've got some more troops sitting in Cairo. What are we getting at now? 0 0.03 per month. Still a manageable amount. We can deal with that yet. Call for peace is not too, not too troublesome yet. Excellent. We've got everything in Algiers sieged. So which one's the one with the actual trading bonus? Uh, not select army. Yeah, um... We've got the Nile Estuary in Rashid. Important center of trade, which is even better in Alexandria. So, 
Ideally, we take both of these. We'll see if we can pull that off from the Ottomans. I don't know if the Ottomans will be willing to give it up. But if they are, it'll be quite nice. Yeah, we gotta leave a big stack over here, protect against this 38k stack. They don't have a leader there, although I suppose they could assign what they wanted to. Relatively easily. Um, if they de-siege that, it's actually going to be fine. And honestly, we can leave that peasant stack there when we peace out, because that's actually not one of the provinces we're interested in taking for ourselves. The Ottomans are, yeah, low war enthusiasm. They'd be very happy to peace out relatively soon. Um, and actually, this might be a good place for us to put a quick cut. We're going to finish a few sieges next episode, and then we're going to take a bunch of territory off of Algiers, release Fez, and then see what we can get off the Ottomans. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.